Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing. I'm with Larry Bobka, Master Fitter today. Today, Larry, we are diving into kind of some, some PGA Tour putting stats. And this was really all inspired by, I read the other day that NB Park on the LPGA Tour makes, last year made 64% of her 10 to 15 footers. Which is which, crazy, which is crazy good. Two thirds of her putts from 10 to 15 feet she's right. bearing. And I think a lot of players at home watch TV and they sort of expect that as kind of the norm. They think players sort of make everything. But today we're looking at some stats that prove that while they're the best players in the world for a reason, and you've worked with a lot of them, they don't really make everything. No, they don't make nearly as many putts as people think they do. But the reason you think they do is because we're seeing the players that are playing well that week, that are putting well that week. Right. So that we get kind of a, we get kind of a very small look at the players that are in that field that week, but you're just seeing the five or 10 guys that are playing the best. You're not seeing the ones that missed the cut. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, you know, I, I work with the Minnesota men's golf team and, you know, trying to be realistic over what your expectations are supposed to be is a hard thing sometimes. And especially when people come in for a fitting and, you know, we hit an eight foot putt there on our Quintech and everybody gets all excited when they miss one. Well, you know, we're, we're gonna explain that missing an eight footer is not that big a deal. I mean, it really yeah, isn't. Yeah, and I think that's a good segue as we look at this, this chart behind us uh, that you, the viewer sees on the screen right now. I think as you mentioned, that kind of eight foot zone, that seven foot, 10 inches, that's really kind of the, the Mendoza yeah, line. Yeah, you know, I always wanted to be a college professor, but never, never, never got there. He had to go to class to do that. Um, but if you're looking, seven feet, 10 inches, you know, it's 50-50. Everybody thinks from eight feet and in, you know, they're gonna make everything. Yep. You know, you, you've got grass, you've got grain, you've got break, you've got all the, all the factors to help you miss that mm -hmm. putt. You know, I mean, if, if, if you look where they're very impressive is inside five feet. Right. You know, you're only talking about, you're, you're talking about making 86% of their putts. That's amazing, you know, that's an amazing stat. So when I work with players, I always, I always focus on speed putting and putts inside five feet. Right. Okay. I think, yeah, I think that's a big mental block for players is they, maybe they hit a really great iron shot, maybe they hit one a right. day to maybe six feet and they think, this is, I have to make this. They put so much pressure on themselves, assuming that it's a gimme when really it's not. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you go down here at the bottom at 15 feet, I mean, it, the average is only 22% make. Right. I mean, it's less than one out of four. So where you're seeing it on TV and you're seeing all these putts go in, you're also seeing the players that are, that are struggling a little bit. You know, but one of, the, one of the really big signs, though, is look at the three putt, look at the three putt percentage. Yep. I mean, at 15 feet, it's 1%. You know, that's where speed, that's where, that's why they're the best players in the world. That's why they're the best putters in the world. I don't care if it's PGA Tour, Champions Tour, LPGA Tour. They work constantly on speed. They work constantly on a solid strike. That's mm -hmm. why when people come in to get fit at second swing here with the Quintech, we really talk about hitting the ball squarely because right. the squarer you hit it, the less side spin you have, the more overspin you have, and the better control of speed you have. Yeah. The more consistent you can be in those three factors, those are the things that are going to really make you help you putt better and start seeing numbers like this. But, you know, kind of be easy on yourself. Uh, you know, I had a conversation the other day with Brad Faxon, and, and most, most players put too much importance on the putt. You know, whether mm -hmm. it's left to right, right to left, an easy putt, a hard putt. Even PGA Tour players. Absolutely. You know, it, it's kind of, it should be the no judgment zone. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to stand. I'm going to read the putt. I'm going to try to hit it as best I can in my intended line as squarely as I can with the right speed. That's the only control you have. I mean, if you think about it, we actually have less control on the greens than we do on a shot in the air. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
we've got grain, you have spike marks, you have ball marks, you have all kinds. Dogs barking. Yeah, you have all kinds of things that are going to stop you from that ball rolling into the hole. Well, if I'm hitting the ball in the air, I have much more control hitting a seven iron than I do with an eight or a nine foot putt. Yeah. So we have to think about it that way, although most people think, well, it's putting, you know, I, I should make everything. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can figure out how to make everything, that'd be great, because I'll, I'll pay you for that, we'll bottle it, and we'll make a whole bunch of money. Yeah, I'm sure we could find a job right here. I think so. So, you know, I think players need to just be very honest with themselves, work on, work on their putting, Get fit for their putters. We have so many people that come in and have never been fit for a putter. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, use it for 40% of your strokes, okay? And the loft of the putter, quite frankly, is more important than the loft of your driver. So because, yeah. you know, as we've done in past videos showing what Quintech does, that if you've got the wrong loft, how bad your ball performance is. But the problem is you can't see it. Right, it's on the okay. ground. You can see your drive going too high. You can see your drive going too low. It's on the ground. It's very hard to tell what's going on, what's happening. So come in, get yourself fit. Now you can go out and practice and, and putt better. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest thing for PGA Tour players is they have so much confidence in their putting. And I think that's a great way for, for the players at home to build confidence. Come into second swing, get fit, and have full confidence that every single aspect of your putter is dialed in perfectly for your game. Larry, thanks again for joining me. Thanks for watching.